Hey folks, hey Brad Miller back with you again here with flybass.com and some tips for you. Um, you know, we sell all kinds of different kinds of things to aid the fly fisherman, especially the fly tire. That's what I'm going to talk about today. Um, we use different sorts of tools to tie flies. And um, the question is, where do you put them? Well, some people get a really fancy big table and they um, with all kinds of dowels and holes where they put all their stuff. But if you're like most fly tires, you're tying a few things here, a few things there, and you need a, a tool holding um, unit that uh, you can just set to the side when you're not using it, okay? And there's some commercially, uh, commercially used ones out there, and um, they work fine. But I have a tip for you, and something I did a couple years ago that I think you might get a kick out of. Okay, for those of you that don't know what this is, this is basically a banister. Um, and we had a home construction project done here, and um, there was a couple pieces, a couple chunks of this banister left open. So I had the bright idea of going ahead and taking it and drilling out several holes, larger holes on top, and then I went around the sides with some very small, um, very small like pinholes. And I'm going to say they're like 1 64th size bit, but the big ones, the ones along the top there, you can see that I've kind of beveled those out a little bit. Um, but it's fairly heavy. And then I just took some, some packing foam that I'd gotten from one of my many uh, deliveries that I get periodically and, um, and glued this, glued that onto the end of that. And that obviously uh, allows me to, um, you know, stick flies in if I want to. Now, I tip, I'll tell you something else that I use here. Um, and something else that I, I use with another type of rail. Um, here's a another type of a cap cap rail. Uh, and sometimes you can find this stuff uh, laying around. And I just took, and, and this cut obviously was in there because this was meant to go over the top of a railing. So basically we have two different types of railing uh, types of wood. Um, and then I, there again, I took some packing stuff here. I cut a V in it. So when I'm done tying a fly... Um, I set this to the side and I hook my flies in there when I'm allowing the glue to, uh, to set up after I've tied it and glued it, okay? Incidentally, I've got these poppers are be becoming available this spring. Um, uh, they're just wild looking uh, mega, mega damsel flies. Uh, more about that later. But, you know, you take your packing material, you glue it in there, and then it makes for a great place, little place to um, dry your flies. Um, this one here, I use this one. If I'm if I'm tying and I'm using a bobbin, for example, I can either put flies in here if I want to, but more than likely I'll stick something in here that I'm using um, when I'm tying flies. Let me show you how it works. So on the top here, I'll put I'll put bobbins. There's a tweezers. Um, put a scissors in there. Uh, just any kind of um, fly tying type material you want. Now, if I've got something like some of these um, bobbins, excuse me, um, if I've got, here's a here's a, uh, a bobbin threader, put that in there, wherever it might fit. I basically have three different size holes in this thing. Um, here's, a, here's a bodkin, and you can put up one bodkin in this way. Um, I've got several different types of, you know, I'll put different you know, I load this thing up, man. I, I got, you know, different scissors in here. Um, by the time I'm all, it's all said and done, you know, I tell you something else that I use quite often. Um, and that is um, a toothpick. You know, put the toothpick in. I'll put the toothpick in over here. I always have some toothpicks handy. Really helps for poking around, uh, getting your glue squared away, and picking stuff out and whatever. Um, now here is another really great thing I keep handy a lot, and that's um, a close, you know, just a, uh, for the clothesline. Makes for a great clamp. If you're, like, you've got a fly and you're trying to pinch the eyes on the fly and you want to get it to hold on there, um, you can take your, this is just a clamp to clamp those eyes on there, and it really makes for a nice tight fixation when you're tying those streamers and so forth. Um, but anyway, um, 
a great do-it-yourself uh, tie fly, fly tying uh, tool unit um, that you can just pick up and set to the side when you're not using it and then, all, and then when you want to go ahead and tie a few flies get your vise set up um, take this thing down you've got all your tools ready to go maybe you make yourself one of these little drying uh, units uh, I kind of like this one too of course it rolls a little bit and uh, um, just a couple ideas for you to use uh, so you don't spend your money unwisely on things that you don't really need <laughs> hey Brad Miller with flybass.com I uh, will talk to you soon take care